Hey there YouTube, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're all doing well out there under difficult circumstances. Just thought I wanted to uh, pop in again this week and uh, share a little bit with you. Today we're going to talk about raw, the raw food diet, common sense and health. Um, guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate if you'd go down there and click that big red button and subscribe and then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Come back, check out some of my content while you've got some downtime. Yeah, I just thought I would like to connect a little bit. Everybody's a little stressed out there and everybody doesn't know quite what direction to go in these days, but uh, <laughs> maybe I can help a little bit. Like I say, it's not a huge difference for me because I've been self-isolating for the past four years just simply because of my circumstances. I don't know anybody in this little town. If I'm just here for a particular reason, but uh, no, you know, especially when things happen like this pandemic, pandemic going around, here you hear a lot of the woo-woo type stuff and it just really makes me take stock and look around and just plain and simple everybody's got a little bit more time on their hands right now I you know people it's I think it shocks people sometimes because I'll say outrageous things maybe the way I look or whatever but I I'm a big believer in common sense I'm a big believer in science and there's a lot of things that I've just rolled my eyes at since day one when I became a raw vegan. And before I even get started, before I even get started, these are just my views. I like to give my views out there. I like to put it out up front so you can eliminate me. Like I, sometimes I don't understand why the hardcore raw people don't just eliminate me instead of trying to save my soul and tell me how I'm doing it wrong. But yeah, I'm, I'm about common sense and I'm about science. One thing I've heard all along, and especially when it comes to something like this that's a virus, you are not bulletproof because you're eating a raw food diet. I don't care how long you've been eating a raw food diet, but you're damn sure not bulletproof when you've been doing this thing for a year. And sometimes some of the newbies, the newest converts, are the ones that are spitting you know, the most ridiculous stuff out there. I don't get sick because yes, I do believe I have a good immune system. I had a good immune system before I went plant-based. I had a good immune system before I went raw. Um, so I kind of think I came into this, you know, pretty strong that way. Number two, and this is a big factor when people are always, you know, they want to attribute it to what I eat. I'll sometimes be doing a video, well, you don't ever get sick. No, I don't ever get sick. Knock on wood, I'll be sick tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, and yeah, I do believe I've boosted my immune system a good bit since I've been uh, raw vegan these last eight years, but I can get sick. I know I can get sick. I'm also, before this even started, that's another reason that this isn't all that big of a difference for me. I'm a germaphobe. Now, I'm not a germaphobe to the extent of Monk, if you remember that TV show. I mean, I'm not, you know, like fanatic, but I've been for the last Ooh, I've been back in the States coming up on three years now. And pretty much since I got back here, you know, I think the first winter I was here, it was a heavy flu season. So I've been doing, I haven't really changed all that much. The only thing I've changed is I've got these little wipes and I wipe my cell phone down after I come in. But no, I've been washing my hands as soon as I come in the house. If I leave the house, as soon as I come back, I wash my hands. When I'm out, I don't touch my face, so that hadn't changed a whole lot. So the point being is, it's not just the fact that I have a strong immune system, but I'm very careful about not picking up germs. But please, 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 and I'm not joking here. If you th don't go out thinking you're you're in you're you can't get sick um, because you can. So use a little common sense in that area. And also when you get sick too, and whether, you know, vegetables is medicine. I also see a lot of stuff too about, you know, medicine versus vegetables. I'm not a big proponent of medicine. I'm not a big proponent of pharma, but there are times and there are things when you need to see a doctor, when you need some actual medicine. Now, God, of course, I think things are way overprescribed. I think there's probably... Probably, and I don't know how many people, I think an overwhelming majority could be taken off of blood pressure drugs if they were eating correctly. I think a huge majority could be taken off of cholesterol uh, medication if uh, they were eating correctly. But there are some things that we can encounter that fruits and vegetables are not going to get rid of. Simply not eating is not going to get rid of, that you are going to need, you know, some medical attention. 
Um, uh, here's another one too that that's common sense, and I really don't want to see this one if you're unless you're maybe. This is valid if you're in California. It's probably not even valid in uh, Florida. For most of you people that have watched me for a while, you know I was in Costa Rica. I was in a small surf town when I started this channel, and the first four years of this channel, five years of this channel, four years, were in a surf town. And I always used to hear this, well, you don't need sunscreen. In fact, sunscreen's bad for you. If you're living in the tropics, I'm just, I'm saying, don't argue with me. Don't argue. Well, I can't afford to go right now. If you want to buy a ticket when all this is over, let's fly down to Costa Rica and let's paddle out in the afternoon, in the morning, not late afternoon or early, but even in the early morning, you'd get burned. I want to see you go out and surf for two hours in the tropics and not get burned. I used to hear people so condescending, well, I, I can't burn. I don't burn anymore. I don't burn. I don't burn. Oh, and also, too, now that I'm vegan, raw vegan, I don't have any body odor anymore. I don't use any uh, uh, <laughs> deodorant. Bullshit. Uh, you may not smell yourself, but I've been full fruit air. I've eaten, I've gone for long periods where I'm just eating fruit. And yeah, no, I'm not like rancid. I'm not like, you know, I do smell people that come into my universe worse. But no, you are not going to be just natural and smell halfway decent around people that have a working nose. That's just another one of those uh, crazy crazies. As far as this stuff goes too, also like God bless whatever you want to believe, I support you and I would even fight for your freedom to talk about it, but don't hit me with conspiracy theories. Once again, going back judging by the way I look. I'm not into any of these conspiracy theories. How the how the the plots that this uh, virus has been started and all these secret plots and conspiracies that are always going on. I heard somebody say something really smart on a podcast the other day because I've been seeing a lot more conspiracy theory stuff the other day. And I've also been tuning into people that are not just have their particular conspiracy theory, but they buy into every single one of them. And they're spitting out, putting out content on every single one of them. I heard somebody really smart the other day say, you're a fool if you believe in every single conspiracy theory out there. And you're a fool if you believe in none of the conspiracy theories out there. In other words, the, the, the truth lies somewhere in between. There are some things out there that are, you know, not what they seem, but most things, Occam's razor. Simplest. Simplest is always the best. Uh, another thing, too, about this relentless, raw as law, under all circumstances, all the time, no matter what. I've, you know, I've talked to a few people just, just briefly, not close friends or whatever, or reached out or seen threads people are talking about. And, I, hey, we're not in some sort of a heavy crisis yet where we've been full on lockdown for, you know, whatever. But I started when this, cri well, you know, I, I, I don't make any bones about it. I eat some cooked food. I'm not 100% raw. I don't give a damn about being 100% raw. And when this first started, I said, well, you know what? Even the few things I don't eat, I'm going to stock up just in case, you know, we get to a point the stores closed. Like I've got some rice in the house. I got some quinoa in the house. Um, I've got, uh, three or four bags of black beans in the house. But I do have a ton, ton, ton of bananas. In fact, I'm probably sitting on a stash of 200, 220 bananas right now. But point I'm getting to here where is, oh, we're going to stay raw, we're going to stay raw, we're going raw, or they're going to intermittent fast, or they're going to do this or that, all the hippie stuff. You, might, you, you need to pay attention to this part. If we actually do get to a, a serious scene, and I don't think this is it, but you never know down the road, things can always happen. If we're hitting in a real apocalypse or real harsh times, you need to be a little bit smarter than that, just the, the usual raw babbling, like, well, I'm going to stay raw, and I'll meditate on it, and I'll look at my belly button, and I'll, uh, you know, do whatever common sense. That's the main point of this uh, video today is common sense. And I'm being a little tongue in cheek about it just to lighten up the mood, hopefully provide a little entertainment. But yeah, definitely um, a little common sense in every situation goes a long way. As far as it goes with this raw food diet for me, like I say, I don't have health insurance. So every food thing I put in my mouth, I'm thinking, okay, is this helping me? Is this making me stronger? Is this making me less prone to get sick? Is this giving me my best chance? But 
like I say, there's also other things that, that I have to be, you know, be realistic about. That that didn't transform me into some sort of a hu superhuman and that I, ha I can't be totally separate from the rest of the world and the way that I do things and, you know, the way that I think. So, oh, and one last little thing there, too, is also, too, just common sense. As I'm, like, I just started free-flowing and jotting things down about common sense. Variety, 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 variety. Get variety in there, you know, mix it up. And I'm not saying you got to go nuts and try to make sure I'm getting this, this, and this every day. Just add in a different fruit, a different vegetable, but we do need variety, as I'm always saying these days, I'm, I'm like, uh, a, my religion is the greens. You got to add those greens in with that fruit. But um, anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, you know, have some fun. Have some fun during these kind of stressful times. I've been watching a lot of stand-up. In fact, at night when I go to bed, I've pretty much exclusively watched stand-up comedians and stand-up comedy for um, the last week or two. Put your mind in a good mode. Don't read, you know, you can, You need to keep up. You need to keep informed, but don't stay on top of the news all day being bombarded you with, uh, bombarding you with messages. And uh, check out the social media if you need to, because a lot of people are just repetitive, posting the same things over and over. And I know that stresses a lot of people out. But anyhow, I'll see you guys again in a couple of days. Peace.